Hello everyone, so today in this video we are going to learn about the Bootstrap 5 containers. Okay, so Bootstrap 5 container is one of the useful uh, property or useful class if you are learning the Bootstrap. So first of all, we are going to use the boilerplate code from uh, the getbootstrap.com. So I am, uh, I am just clicking getbootstrap.com and I am clicking the docs. After that, I am going to uh, include the bootstrap CSS and JS from here. So I am going to uh, copy to clip here. And I am coming here and I am just pasting this code. And I am just saving it. Okay, so I am just giving to um, bootstrap dot, uh, sorry, bootstrap container dot HTML. Okay, so I am just giving the name also hello. Uh, Boot, bootstrap container and if I right click and if I click in the open in browser so now you can see it is working perfectly okay so but for this one uh, you need internet connection without internet connection this CDN will not work okay okay so let's uh, discuss about the uh, bootstrap container okay Okay, guys. So, uh, if I reload this web page in the open in browser, so now you can see it is creating the bootstrap container here, right? So now I'm creating two div here. So the first div is I'm creating a div, and uh, I'm giving the class is uh, dg minus info, and I'm creating another class. Uh, sorry, another div also. And I'm giving the class it's class it's called to bg minus danger okay so inside this div I'm creating a, a paragraph also and for this one also I'm creating another paragraph okay so if I reload this one now we can say it is working perfectly right so if I give the class here, if I add another class here, that is container. And in the second div, I'm creating another class that is container minus fluid. So let me check what will happen to our web page. So now we can see here, uh, if we use the container class, then now we can see it is giving me the margin. So it is giving me the fixed width uh, of the container. So it is giving me the margin in my left side and it is providing me the margin in the right side also but the container fluid is giving me the full screen or full width of my screen sizes so uh, i'm writing few notes here okay so you can also use this one so uh, the container the container sorry container container class provides a responsive fixed width container okay and the contain sorry the container minus fluid class provides a full width container okay thus you have to re remember those two things the uh, container class provide a responsive fixed width container and the container fluid class provide a full width okay full width container thus you have to remember those two things okay so uh, uh, if we use if we want a responsive fixed width then in that case uh, in that case we need to use the container class uh, in our div or in our HTML element and if we want the full width container, then in that case, we have to use the container minus fluid class. Okay. So there are a few uh, different type of the responsive uh, fixed uh, uh, container size also available. Okay. So let's discuss about those sizes or those classes. The first class is the container minus SM. Okay. So it will, uh, it is for the extra small size screen, 
screen and small size of the screen okay so it will start to it will start to give us a result uh, after uh, the five seven six pixel okay so when your screen sizes will become less than 576 pixels then uh, the container minus sm class will start to work the another class is container minus md okay the container uh, you know, minus md uh, class is for the medium sizes screen okay and it will start to work when your screen sizes uh, will be less than 768 pixel 68 pixel okay you have to remember those two uh, uh, those two things and another class also available that is container container minus lg so this is for the large size screen large size screen okay so it will start to work when your screen sizes become less than uh, 992 pixel and the container minus lg class will start to work and another class also available that is uh, container container minus Excel that is for the extra large large sizes screens okay large sizes screen okay so when your uh, screen sizes will uh, will be less than uh, 1200 pixel then it will start to work then another class also available that is container minus xsl xxl so it is for the extra extra large sizes screen okay so it will start to work when your screen sizes will uh, the 14 pixel then it will start to work okay so i'm going to show you the practical also for example uh, we are using just container class here right but if i use container minus s in class here what will happen let me check so if i click here so now it is uh, now you can see here it is not uh, working right but if i click here in the uh, right click and if i click in the inspect so now we can see here now uh, it is giving me the dimension responsive right so now we can see here is the width and here is the uh, height of this web page. So if I resize this one, so now we, now we can see it is uh, in the 669 pixel. So, so now we can say it is in the 599 pixel. So before also I told you that the this class will start to work after uh, the screen sizes will be less than 500. 76 pixel right so okay so now it is in the 577 pixel right so if i decrease in the 576 pixel okay so now we can see if the width became in the 575 pixel now you can see it is giving me the full width of the screen so in this way you can use the container minus sm class so let me check uh, the other class that is container minus md container minus md so if i use the container minus md so in our note we told you that uh, the container minus md will work if your screen sizes become less than 768 pixels right so i'm going to resize this one again i'm going to reload I'm closing this one so I'm going to again in the inspect okay it's not working right so I'm just clicking here so now we can see our screen size is in the 630 pixel and it is working perfectly so when your screen sizes become less than 768 pixel for example i am just using uh, this one here 768 pixel so now we can say it is still giving me the margin in my left side and right side 
So if I uh, change the width in the 767 pixel, so now we can say it is giving a full width. So in this way, you can create the container SM container minus MD container minus LD and container minus Excel. So hoping that you get few ideas related with the container and container fluid class and it will give you uh, the responsiveness design so if you are creating the responsive web page design in that case the container and container minus fluid class will help you too much okay so hoping that you get few ideas thank you so much